let's continue Animal Crossing New Leaf. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Have you been enjoying so far? It is a Saturday. It's been a couple days since I played this last. But not enough for the villagers to go, hey, where's Will? Where did he vanish to? It'll be early morning in, in the file. Okay. Red. Blanche. Oh, for, for coming over. Had a lovely time hanging out with you at my place, so... Here for the friend who will rave over my home along me. Something special. That's nice. Oh, wait. Present. There we go. Present. There we go. Alright, we gotta go donate one of these to the museum. I wonder if they're open, because it'd be what? What time is it in game? Oh. Okay, that's fine. Hey, Mrs. Ham, what's up? <laughs> New shirt. I got this at the end of last time I played, but if I got something new, I'll probably swap over to it. Well, what are you thinking, Gladys? What's wrong? Oh, why, Maya? I was just trying my best to solve a dilemma, but I must admit I'm fairly stuck. May I ask your thoughts on the matter? Though our collection has grown, our museum just isn't drawing the attention, the attendance I had hoped for. I know the very thing that'll bring more visitors, of course. The museum must be remodeled. We have a second floor that is going unused at the moment, and it'd be perfect for something fresh. Oh yes, what we need is an exhibit space where everyone can display what they want. Now, my dilemma as the director here, I have big dreams for our museum, but no bells. I don't have the funds to remodel this museum, but may this place is a public service, so perhaps. Maybe we could have this added to the list of public works projects for the town? Would you consider making this a priority? As mayor, you can make this dream come true. I'll tell your secretary, Isabel, in case you'd like to help out. Thanks in advance. <sighs> it's just one more thing that I've got to sink money into. Famous painting! Okay. No, that's all. I have to make money today. I have to pay off that bridge. Blathers is cute, he deserves all the renovations. <laughs> He's so polite at it as well. Very polite little owl. Good, I fancy meeting you here, bud. Count. So what's up, bro? Let's chat. I like it when the main street is lively, but it's not bad when things are quiet either. Count. All oh, right. <laughs> I just remembered what that was. Okay. I know why he says count. I was confused for a second, and I remembered. I 
Oh, this auto stacking thing. an axe. I want to clean up this mess of trees and turn them into something neat. Oh, I'm not doing any of the adjusting the clock thing. I just, I don't know. I know why people do it, but it's not my my sense of fun, I guess, for me. I'd rather just play it out and be patient, and if I don't experience it, that's fine. It goes against the spirit of the game, I feel like it. But, you do what you enjoy. Probably sell since I'm in the area. Tell am I gonna get rich? I don't know. Probably just play the game. It's like. It's one of those things like, do I wanna do this in a couple days or do I want this to last? I'm not convinced I'm gonna experience everything in this game. This was more something that I was curious about, like how this one played compared to the others. I'll get to a point where I'll be like, alright, I think I'm good with this one. But I mean, to me this game is just not thinking about that kind of stuff, not thinking about min-maxing. Not thinking about what's optimal, just kind of kicking back, playing this at my own pace. Just for a little bit of time each time I play. That's what this game is to me. Because in other games I, I think about that kind of stuff, like, how am I gonna win better? How am I gonna get through this next bit that's harder? What's the most optimal thing I can do? Like, I, I don't want to think about that in this game. There we go. 
Alright. Oh, damn it. I always do that. I gotta get more patient with the menus. Oh, that catch is nice. Not too expensive either. I wonder if it can be coloured. With the uh, retail, I'm gonna have a look. Where's the time look at the Commonwealth Bank? I don't know. If only life functioned sort of like this. I mean, there's debt, but it's not, like, debt that gets bigger. Oh, Sahara's here as well. Yeah. Oh, I have to, yeah, right, it works differently in this one. I gotta take Sahara over. This is your place, yes. I see the harmony of this room. I have the thing, yes, yes. Now I will accept the payment of the money. Don't get to know what I get. It's just... Hopefully. Wait outside. Okay. But it's horrendous. I mean, I haven't found many. It's like, it's either that or nothing. I'm not trying to make it look good either. Like, I, ha I have corn behind my bed. Like, I'm not sure what you're expecting in terms of decor. Oh. No shit. Good job, Sahara. Damn. That was worth the 3,000 bells. Very well. Well done. Why am I growing corn indoors and for midnight snack? You're dying, that's no good. Unfortunately, there's no, like, half measures in this one. No, like, any patriotic person, I have a flag behind my bed. Alright, indoors is starting to look a little better. Queen. 
Oh, like, <laughs> ah, okay. Sure, why not? That was very, very good job, Sahara. My house looks a little more presentable. How much more do I need to make? Okay, that's not too bad. What did I trip over? I guess I don't need to go to retail anymore. tripping over. Maybe because I'm carrying a shovel? I don't know. Go. Ah, oh, damn it. It's not gonna give me one of them. I am bad influencer. Why? Because I made you want to get tea? There are far worse things in this world that I could make you want to get. I've influenced you to get something that gives your body antioxidants and is a form of relaxation. You're welcome. As opposed to other people that might want to give you like a gaming chair or maybe invest your time in a game where you have to spend a lot of money to get items. Or maybe you would like to get a VPN. Or, uh... Maybe you have someone that needs shaving. And so, you know, getting dollar razor blades. What else? Um, look at how I deploy my troops in this game. That's black tea. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's your choice. <laughs> I don't have black tea at night. I always go for the herbal stuff. Stuff that helps you wind down, not, I guess, keeps you up. Oh. <laughs> 
I'm a little disappointed in the balloons. I'm glad they reworked them in New Horizons. That bug is worth the money. Oh, no it's not. That's a shell. It'd look like this other one. Oh, my mangoes are here. <laughs> yeah. Be, be mad jealous about my mangoes. Have I asked if I've streamed old Tomb Raider games? You have. The response was not my thing. Never got into that series when it was around. I think I played it on demo disc once and yeah, just wasn't my thing. It's one of those things that I think probably did not age well just because it uh, had tank controls for 3D platforming, which, unless you have nostalgia for that stuff, it's, uh, yeah. You ha I think you have to be into it. At least for me, I don't know. Time to go sell and identify. Yeah, I mean, I, I never played it, so I got nothing negative to say about it. Just when I tried it, it just didn't seem like my thing, so that's all. No, I don't want to buy. Sorry, you're distracting me. Well, you're not distracting me. I'm pretty good at multitasking. It's only when it's something like, say, that Mario boss. When I'm like, alright, I'm gonna neglect chat and not read. And I'll say it up front. But otherwise, it's just like, it's fine. I mean, it's not like the gameplay here is mission critical. Especially if this is on YouTube, you don't want to be pesting in chat, please. <laughs> I've read so many other different things. That's part of it. It's like, it's, it's a replay. It's not like I'm making something where I'm playing the gameplay on my own and not interacting. Like... It's known that when this ends up on YouTube, these are replays of streams. <laughs> it's not the most derailing thing that's happened, let's put it that way. I stopped playing a game for 40 minutes once because... Um, one of my moderators brought up the fact that he found someone had made a statue. 
a replica of Mount Rushmore using beef jerky. And then I went down this rabbit hole of looking at what was the most stupid thing someone's made with food. And we found- we found someone made a wall made out of jello. I think the- the- the beef jerky Mount Rushmore was- was probably top tier. But there are a few others. Coriander's like... It's a 50-50 chance you're gonna find it disgusting. And it's through no fault of your own, it's just like a genetics thing. Beef jerky is just one of those things you're either into or you're not. I should be paying off my house, but I'm paying off the bridge first. I one thing at a time. I'll sell the other two fossils, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna go put this chair at home. The only thing for me that I've tried that I just can't stomach is eggplant. It makes me feel... it sick. It wasn't just a thing because of childhood, it was genuinely, I don't know, it just does something to my stomach. I do miss the half steps. It's like the alignment of this. It's okay. Oh yeah, I should have coconuts and bananas now.
I wish bananas were in New Horizons. But I don't know what's the harm in having the extra fruit. You learn so much about bugs and fishing from Animal Crossing, it's embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? You're doing something you enjoy. Shouldn't be self-conscious about that. How is it different than someone, say, learning everything there is about a particular sport and a team's players and just, like, being that nerdy about shit? It's just the same sort of thing. You're going to an extra length for a hobby. Also attribute it to the uh, the big elephant in the room from 2020, which uh, you know we all did what we had to do to stay sane. So I don't think anyone would look at you in a weird way. Just it's odd being in your 30s talking about emperor butterflies. I don't find anything odd about that. That's just like... Don't know what the word is, but... Kind of a double standard in ways. With people that, you know, really get into something that by society in general is deemed normal. But then when it comes to gaming, it's like, why are you guys so into this? You guys are losers. When, you know, it's effectively the same thing when you go down to fundamentals. It's like, you know, you're not playing the sport yourself. You're not doing the stuff yourself. You're just learning about it. You're watching it. And you're really into it. It's like, just let people be happy. If you're in your 30s and you know about Emperor Butterflies and you're fascinated by them and you're happy by that, good for you. It's like, life's too short to worry about what other people think and just be embarrassed by what makes you happy. If people are making you feel like shit about it, then probably not the right people to be around. I mean, look at me, I'm in my 30s and I play games that, like, some people are like, those are kids' games, why are you playing kids' games for? It's like, because it makes me happy. Leave me alone. Towards like 
in my mid twenties, I, I honestly stopped caring about what people thought in terms of like me playing games or enjoying things that are nerdy. And just try to surround myself with people that where that stuff just isn't an issue. Or, you know, it's thought of being weird. Makes things a lot a lot better. I should probably sell some of these. I know they're used for crafting, but... I feel like I have enough. Alright. Where is that? I really need to clean up these trees. Okay, Lam, how's it going? How's things? I make a terrible gardener. Well, they don't have the tools to do the job correctly. If I had, I don't know, maybe an axe, I might be able to do something about this. It's a nice Saturday. Nice. I'll enjoy. Yeah, my Saturday is just ending. It's in the evening, but I'm just kicking back with this. Just did a bunch of housework, so just kicking back. Who plants trees that close together? So then I don't have to go from one end of the island to another to... Harvest. Doesn't look good, but it means I can get a bunch of stuff done sooner. And then way later I can worry about... Worry about how nice things are gonna look. Most of these trees I didn't plant, they were just here. A mint ginger shirt? Sure. I don't know what it is, Anacardi, but... Surprised how well these bugs sell. I 
I will pay off this bridge by the end of today. That is the goal. doesn't work. Alright, I, I gotta try from the front more often. It's alright, once the store upgrades, or however it is you get an axe, then I'll, I'll clean it all up. Right now, this is just for the convenience of getting the fruit harvesting done quickly. Yay! Alright, three more. turn 30 on if that might help like depth perception I'll turn that on ever so slightly I can't have the 3d thing on full blast it just it's a neat novelty but I, it just strains the eyes after a while It kind of helps a little. Eventually, most people just turn it off. Uh, don't think I have anything to donate. I'll double check. I might pop into the the sisters and get new pants. I don't know if you have to shop there to do any upgrades, but it's the one thing I forgot to do was keep buying stuff at this store. Okay. 
There we go. Excuse me. They open at 10 a.m. <laughs> what time is it in game? All right, they open in half an hour. Part of the reason I don't catch bugs that often is just because I'm always moving too quickly. And I just get scared. The internet? What about the internet? I think this is easier than fishing. And it earns... I mean, not as much, but... I feel like I collect bugs quicker when they're on the trees like this. There we go. This bridge will be paid in bug money. Damn, I tried. Couldn't really do that.
Ah, oh, I didn't see it. It's okay. That was bad. What was bad? The bug catching attempt? It's a good thing there's uh, plenty more where that came from. And I don't have to stress about being good. Or care about it, for that matter. <laughs> if you ever screw it up, blame it on the game's bugs. I like the double meaning of that. Buggy game! Damn game and its numerous bugs. I should probably put away the, uh, the shirt that I'm not wearing. Your internet is struggling this day and age. <laughs> Could be worse. I thought Australian internet was bad, but I've heard some American friends, like, honestly have it worse than, uh, than what I ever did, because they're kind of stuck in an area where there's only one provider, and it's just like, well, you can imagine what happens there. <laughs> One of the streamers I watched had had an issue with his internet provider, and he called tech support, and their response was, Sir, please do not assume that there is an issue. So only internet provider he can get. Because he said there was an issue with his internet. And the response was, Sir, please do not assume there is an issue. <laughs> I mean, I guess you can say whatever you want where the option is either you get internet or no internet because no one else provides it. Yeah, exactly. My internet isn't working, sir. Please don't assume your internet isn't working. But that's, that's the thing, it's just like, it's the only provider that he can get, so doesn't really have a choice other than, well, has to prove that his internet <laughs> isn't working. Some suburbs in Sydney are like that. Yeah. I mean, I had my own internet problems when I moved to the city here. But... Where I am now, it's like... I have gigabit download and, for some reason, only 50 megabit upload. I'm hoping they'll make a better plan, but at least the download is just like, if I ever need to get a game, it's just a few minutes. Like a 40 gigabyte game, it's great. I had very bad internet before I moved out of home. Like, just the worst.
So, wherever I move next to, the prerequisite is checking up on what kind of internet I can get. I'm not moving to end. I'm not going down in connection. I did it once, never again. Quite possibly the worst mistake I made ever. And that's not a luxury for me. At the end of the day, like, my work does rely on having a connection that um, lets me upload stuff and do my stuff in a reasonable time, you know? So it's it's more than a luxury. It's, it's a requirement. Was it pre-NBN? I mean, growing up, everything was pre-NBN, but like, I moved out of home, and it was uh, the place that I moved to had the first iteration of the NBN, the good one. For those that don't know, the NBN is Australia's broadband network, which went through, uh, let's say, turbulent times. Turbulent, turbulent, whatever the word is. I'm tired. But, you know, the plan was originally to roll out fiber internet to 96% of Australia. Something along those lines. And then the rest would get wireless. And then there was just this whole thing where, uh... You know, they were asking, why do we need good internet? We can watch YouTube now. And they changed the plan to just use the existing copper in the ground. And, uh... Well, for those that know about technology, you can probably imagine how that went. So Australia's kind of in a, a situation where you'll move somewhere where there's fiber and it's great, or you'll move somewhere where they did the half-assed approach and it's horrible. Again, out of county. Say, I think I'd like a catchphrase. It's a bit catchier. Should you change it? Keep it. Cannoli's fine. For real? Well, that's okay. Well, I'm sure my current catchphrase will be fine for a little longer. Remember dial-up internet where you would be on online for five hours. No phone calls could be made. What a life. I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. Did you ever try to get on the internet in an inconspicuous manner? In other words, you don't want to- you don't want anyone else to hear that you were going on the internet because maybe it was late at night and maybe someone would have gotten annoyed at you going on the computer that late at night. And whenever you needed to connect to the internet, it would be like <laughs> Like this really loud as fuck sound. I used to have to put a pillow over the phone so then it wouldn't sound that loud. Like, imagine someone screaming, Hey! He's going on the internet! For 20 seconds. It's not like now you can just, you know, incognito browse the internet. If you're younger. The phone thing was bad, but I think just, you know, if you ever wanted to go browse the internet in stealth, it was, uh, not an option. Thankfully, no, did it wake people up? Well, I didn't want to find out. It was it was loud. It's like when there's nothing else, and it's the calm of night, the thing just seems like it's three times louder than what it is usually. So I used to put a pillar over it to smother it, so then it wouldn't sound that loudly. I would imagine it would wake someone up. Especially if you live in a small house. Even watching Smart was challenging back then. That was the, the big challenge, was like... Connecting to the internet in a way that no one knew you were doing that. 
And you had to plan it out. I was like, big commitment. And then you had to wait for the thing to download quick enough. 30 second video clip would take a few minutes. Oh man. I didn't experience much dial-up, that's the thing. I mean, I'm old, but not that old. And the internet was just this luxury thing that I didn't get to experience until it became a necessity for school, pretty much. Like, probably uh, five years after everyone else did, so, you know. At my age. First world problems, you can't watch Smut without waking up half the house. I remember waiting ages for songs. Yes, because streaming music took ages. Streaming music in a perfectly legal way took ages back then. Am I right? doing here? Oh, I can't put my net away because <laughs> that seems like an oversight. Okay. It's new. Why did the 3DS have to have, like, a custom charger? I wish I had, like, a longer cable. <laughs> I want to lean back in my chair, but I can't because the cable just isn't long enough. Maybe I might go, like, have a browse on eBay and see if I can find, like, a dodgy cable that is just a longer charge cable for the 3DS. Like, maybe at least a meter and a half. Then I can leave. Oh, that'd be so nice leaning back in my chair, playing on the 3DS. Because you know, if it's not obvious, I'm I am playing. <laughs> this is coming from an actual 3DS. You would hate to wake up anyone smart. You'd have to bury yourself in the garden if you got caught. <laughs> Tough times. Kids, if you want to simulate... And I call... I say the word, not literally, but you know, anyone under the age of... At least over the age of 18, but under the age of 25. That's, that's the range I'm talking about here. Just... The next time you watch Smut, just get your phone to make an alarm. Just play any alarm off your phone for 20 seconds. That's what that's what it was like. <laughs> when you would have to connect to the internet. Just pl blast an alarm for 20 seconds. Oh, 
I'll mix it up. I'll do some fishing now. An alarm. So bad. That's what it was like, though. <laughs> That's what it was like. You ever had an alarm go off that you've forgotten about? And you have that anxiety of, like, you need to turn it off quickly? Imagine that, but you can't turn it off. It's just something that goes for 20 seconds. And that's what would happen if you were to try to connect to the internet late at night. Is like, you just had to go through that every time. Fish. That's a shame. <laughs> the big one appeared after. Or like another struggle, which I guess this this one is not... At least people in their 20s can still relate, because that's like right on the edge of the Game Boy Advance's life, right? Which is, you know, a, a portable console without a backlight. Like, try to imagine that. You'd be in your car playing that. You'd be in the car playing that thing at night. And you'd be waiting for street lights to go by to kind of be able to see again. Or you'd have to purchase some bulky ass accessory that would tack onto the thing and give you a light. Like, after a certain point in the day, <laughs> the console is pretty much to the point of unplayable, yet we would still try our hardest to see what was going on. Ah, oh, that was impatience. Oh good, that's gonna it's gonna cost me money to get rid of that. Lately I I've been feeling like I wanna play Pokemon Red and Blue and just go through the process of getting all 151 legit. Just to demonstrate how tedious that process was. Nostalgia would be holding that up. You missed everything. I was just saying the other struggle, which is more relatable, because uh, people in their 20s can understand it if they ever had a Game Boy Advance, which is like, a portable gaming console without a backlight, and then, it, you know, after a certain point in the day, you just could not see shit on it. Yeah, you would still play it. Or you'd be in a car at night, and you'd be waiting for streetlights to light it up as... 
as you drive past them. Beige. This has turned into like just old person complaining about youth. <laughs> okay, not so much complaining, but reminiscing and just be like, oh, you guys have no idea what it used to be like. Back in my day when I wanted to watch Smut, I had to silence my murder with a pillow. <laughs> oh dear. going to the museum. Alright. Time to donate. first. <laughs> I defaulted to self. Wake up, blathers. If I was to play this game from the point of view of my actual time zone, blathers would be happy because I wouldn't keep waking him up, it'd be night time. What I say about consoles, one more time, portable consoles, without a backlight, people in their 20s can still relate to it, because Game Boy Advance had it, and that's like, at the edge of it, you know? I can't believe I'm getting charged to dispose of rubbish. I'm doing the town a favor. Not a problem for you. 
Damn, you either never had a portable console or you were rich. To Sarah. Unfortunately. <laughs> you got a 3D XL at 22 or something, otherwise PlayStation. Okay, so you never went through like early days. Hey, how's my chair? There we go. You eyeballing my wife? Stop eyeballing my wife. <laughs> That's what he basically said to me the first time I met him. Properly. Let's see what river fish there are. For some reason I find that river fish just doesn't sell as much as ocean fish. I might be imagining it. Like a bit of confirmation bias. was challenging. I mean, honestly, the only other, like, point of, I guess, differentiation is, like, how text messages used to be and how you used to type them. It was, like, alphanumeric input versus, like, a full keyboard. And then the, the message limit. You had to type shit in, like, extreme shorthand. Deleting text because the memory was full. There you go. <laughs> the phone would come to a, a grinding halt if you had too many texts on it. It was like a ge it was like a genius thing where when you opened your messages, it opened all the messages. So the more messages you had, the longer it took to open it. Oh, that wasn't even a conversation log, it was one text at a time. Yeah. 
was like most recent at top. And it wasn't grouped by like person who sent you text. Some of the later phones did do that shit, which was nice, but in general. Person, hello. I talk to things that you might not recognize from your childhood, unless you're as old as me. Remember all this stuff I'm talking about. Too young to relate to what you hear. Maybe not way too young. That's fine. I'm not saying, I'm not saying this to kind of go, oh, I had it so much worse, you kids these days. <laughs> it's like, technology's relative. I'm sure there's something that's considered a struggle now, anyway. You've heard the stories of the dreaded internet boot, yep. I mean, you can talk about a time when mobile games didn't used to be shit. <laughs> Back in, in the golden era of when people made mobile games to, like, make good games on, on a phone before it became what it is now. You have a memory of your first phone and Nokia having a cool platform game on it. And there have been nothing like it since then. Oh damn, you had a Nokia. Nokia, Nokia, however it's pronounced. We say Nokia. Yeah, I mean, mobile games used to be just a whole different thing. Like, you look at the early games that came out on Android and the iPhone, there was stuff like Cut the Rope, Fruit Ninja. Um, I mean, the original version of Angry Birds, not the modern version. Just stuff that was fun in its own right and didn't do any of the stuff that's happening these days, right? There are a bunch of games that came out on phones that were pretty cool. And then at some point, I guess, we just began to accept that they're just these things full of microtransactions and currencies and just all that stuff. Oh, it's customized, okay. I mean, I remember the seahorse doesn't sell for much. But did I donate it is the question. Alright, screw it.
Mm -hmm. Your face is looking kind of tired there. Don't ever do it. What's up? Hey, I heard a rumor that you have a sweet fish. Is it true? I have to get one right away. Please sell it to me. How much? Pretty sure on catch. 450? Yeah. There you go. That was fun. Let's do this again. That's the one thing about these games that I find very strange is, you know, you have a possession in your pockets and then somehow they know that the item is in your pockets and then they ask you, hey, can I buy it? And if you say no, like, they get very sad and you feel guilty. <laughs> or sometimes they just outright, like, say something that's a bit of a guilt trip. It's like, dude, it's, it's, it's my stuff. It's in my pocket. What do you mean? Like, I should be allowed to say no here. Should try that in real life. <laughs> yeah, well. I would imagine at some point it would work. Nice. Have you learnt your lesson after yesterday? What's going on? They're still working on their product selection, but the clerk is very energetic. Check it. I put him in timeout yesterday for scamming me. Why am I picking on Colton? Because he walked up to me and he said, Hey, you want to buy this item? It normally costs X amount of bells, but how about you pay three times the amount? And I was like, okay, is, is this like a bit? Is he, is he maybe just kidding? He'll go just kidding. Or maybe he'll be like, oh no, here, I have this as well. But no, he, he just took the money and was like, wow, I can't believe you just did that. And so I put him in timeout. <laughs> I dug a trench around the around him and left him there for the rest of the stream. That's why I'm picking on Colton. Did he learn his lesson? I don't know. We'll find out. If he tries that shit again, we'll see. See, now my blue chair doesn't fit. His blonde mane is cute like Zelda's horse. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that being cute uh, excused you from being a dickhead. My bad.
Couple, couple more trips and then the bridge will be paid off. And then I can plunge myself into further debt. I think I have to pay off the house. Next. Because what I have... A police station requested. A museum upgrade and then I still have the house. I don't know if I'll ever get through this. Ah, oh. but you know what? That's probably just a sea bass. Dirt simulator, New Horizons. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. There are a lot of games that are chore simulators, and yet there's something satisfying about it. I haven't tried it, but you know, there's Power Wash Simulator. For me, these games, I guess what gets me about them is one, just the chill factor, but also just, I like things where you start off as something small, you know, maybe unrefined, unpolished, and then you slowly work at it and you get better. And more, uh, maybe not efficient, but you know, things get easier. Just, uh, scratches an itch for me, you know? I think the first game I experienced like that was Harvest Moon on the Game Boy. That was a lot of fun. As, uh, as rudimentary as it was. And then, I guess later to, like, different genre, but sort of the similar thing is when I played my first action RPG, like, Titan Quest, which it's in the vein of Diablo 2. That was just something else that... Just again. Scratches an itch. Starting off weak, you slowly grow stronger, then you get cool gear. They kind of go, ooh, look at this. This increases this ability. And it makes it stronger. And then you see a visual change when you get that item. Mario RPG is coming out. Remake. Yeah, can't wait for that one. Because that title never came out in Australia officially. When it was out on Super Nintendo. They released it for the Wii on Virtual Console, but I didn't check it out back then. And then it's like part of that Super Nintendo Classic console as well. So, it'll be my first time playing it. I'm really looking forward to it. That's why I played Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, because it's something that was uh, inspired by, by that game, and it was fun.
It looks really nice. And Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, I've wanted to go back and play. Well, it's Luigi's Mansion 2. So I haven't played the original and I haven't played 2. But I have played 3. And enjoyed 3. I was actually planning on <laughs> playing them on the 3DS, but... Um... Yeah, now that the, the remake is coming next year, I guess that pushes it back to that. But maybe the original on GameCube, because I don't think they've announced that one being remade. And then Pikmin, so, uh, so, something that I, I want to check out. Um, because all four of them are going to be on the Switch. I, you can already purchase it digitally, but I'm waiting for the physical copy because it's going to save me money. Because that's just how things are in Australia. Is if you buy digital, it's going to cost you twenty to thirty dollars more. This might seem a little weird, but can I ask you a question? Be brutal. What do you think of me? Oh, I think, I think you're fine, man. Like that. You may be the only one who truly gets me, sweetie. That's all about the kindness, a deep thinker who's all heart. Yep, a real man of the people, that's me. Thought that I was asking you guys. Psh, why would I ask that question? <laughs> Just all of a sudden, randomly. Hey, chat, what do you think of me? No, no. That's what the, uh, the little squirrel was asking me. I need some- I need some validation, please. <laughs> Wait, there was nothing here? Feeling- I'm feeling self-conscious, it's okay. Well, thank you. Glad you understand. Disposing of the trash, because it is my hope that by me doing that, maybe, just maybe there's something in this game that goes, Oh wow, you've helped us clean up the town so much, Will. Here, have a have this reward for doing that. Or is I'm worried it's just going to be like, no, this is what it is. This is what it's teaching people. Is If you want to clean up the environment where you live, it's going to cost you. Don't do it. Sell. Unfortunately, that. The bridge is going to be very handy once it's done because then I'll be able to get to retail easier instead of having to go around like I'm currently doing. Oh, wait a minute. My name is Will, is Celeste in this game. I don't know what that's a reference to. Did 
someone new moved in. I forgot about this. Who have we got here? Whoa! Tucker. Nice to meet you, I'm Tucker. So I've been wondering what fruit this town is known for. Can you help me out? Since I just moved here, I'm actually hoping you can fill me in on different things. Oh, they're, they're different questions. Okay, I see. It's just... <laughs> yeah, when you put two things together... I don't know. Which... It seems like it's the one question. I, I, I lump it in as... Oh, that's just one sentence. By proximity, I associate it. Yes, my name is Will. It's like, I think it's in, it's in, I'm pretty sure it's like down there somewhere in the, the stream introduction thing. But also it's like popped up on the screen quite a bit. I've never really hid that fact, I don't think. I'm pretty certain it's like been on the stream information for the longest amount of time. I'm bored, I'm not bored. Stop. Fuzzers. Did you happen to notice that Paula was sneezing a lot the other day? I hope that doesn't mean she's, like, allergic to me or something. <laughs> I'm not sure about who's in this game. I haven't really looked, to be honest. You never knew? That's fine. It's like, at the end of the day, I'm like... A person on the internet who plays games that you watch, hopefully, for entertainment. It's like, you don't need to know everything about me. That's right, the only real Will is Will I am. See, you know, we've kind of reached a point where there are people that aren't going to know who that is. At the same time, you don't care if you're on the way to a pension either. I mean, listen, you're younger than me. It's like you're still in your early 30s. I, th I think you're okay for now. Also, it doesn't matter. It's like, at the end of the day... There are people that are 40 that behave like teenagers, you know? And there are people that are in their 20s that behave like they're 40. It just... It's all relative to how you behave. And how you live life. What is wrong with me? I can't get this in a spot where it, like, takes the bait. There we go. No? Oh, 
game, please. There we go. Got you. Worth the catch, because that's worth money. Good money. Blathers doesn't give facts in this game. So, that's a bit unfortunate. You can go read up on the fish when you go see it in the museum, but he doesn't do the fact thing. Like he does in New Horizons. There's probably a reason it has that name. But the fish is in New Horizons as well. I've caught it. It's I think one of the last fish I caught before I stopped playing it. But yeah, the demand for me to play for me to play New Horizons again seems to be high. So it'll probably happen once I'm done with this one. I'll just start a new island because I kind of don't have a choice. Still so happy that I got potato chips for three dollars. <laughs> I stocked up. Which should I buy? Kettle chili. They're my favorite ones. <laughs> Haven't had chips in years. That's probably a good thing. But I mean... Normal price for a bag of chips now is between five to six dollars. It's kind of insane. You just noticed the time you had to go. No worries, Lamb. Well, thanks for popping in. Enjoy the rest of your day. It's still early for me. It's like 9 p.m. Uh, it's almost 10, but it's Saturday. Wait. I mean, okay, I know the puffer fish. I know which ones is like. I definitely. Definitely have in the museum. Uh, 
I think the villager that I would want back in New Horizons would be Alice. Alice had a nice looking house. And Blair to some extent. Blair was cool. Such a nice thing in New Horizons that he talks about stuff. Big fish. Oh, hi, well, what a coincidence meeting you here, Count. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Oh, man. I love that I forgot the, the reason I put that there. Okay, I need to get new pants. Shorts, I guess. Alright, I guess that'll do. Accessories. There's a mask. An umbrella. I can get a matching umbrella. I'm getting the top hat. Like, this is- this is like- I kind of wish this was worn a little, but this is- this is- I'm going on a raft down the river, you know? <laughs> oh, this is great. Dapper as fuck. You know, I need an easy way to make a thumbnail later. This is going to be like the thumbnail later. Or maybe... I'll, I'll think about it. Like... 
need to get new shoes, like 1930s detective shoes, to complete the look. And Nordic socks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unfortunately, that's what the store has today, so... Okay. That'll make thumbnail life easy later. Can I change the expression to a scalp? I don't think this has a photography mode like New Horizons does. At least I haven't seen it. Let's see. Like, I haven't seen emojis. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, but there's no emoji. I mean, could get creative. That might very well take over the thumbnail now. How did I pick a character? I don't remember. Oh, wait, that's an ottoman. Oh, it's a display stand. We'll take it. Display stands are good. Yeah, they sold it, but... They didn't have anything else in the store. I think you can only have one one piece of eyewear. Like it, this game has its limitations compared to New Horizons in terms of what you can do. Is that going to be center aligned? I can't tell. Okay, well... is like this is the problem with this Welcome to my house. Mm -hmm. 
There we go. I wish I, I wish I could. I wish I could change the flag. You know what? Hold on. I'm gonna go see if I can change the flag. Unfortunately, this game has very limited storage. Okay. <laughs> uh, hold on. This is probably better in the corner. So someone gets to sit in front of the TV, and then someone gets to stare directly at the plant. <laughs> I don't have any music. I need- what? I need to get music. I think this kind of doubles up. Let's just... Okay, there we go. There we go. Hey, Colron, how's it going? City player. Um, Alright, I'm gonna see if I can customize the flagpole. <laughs> this is, but this is looking more presentable. I think this mat is kind of tacky. Like, sure, it, it's a bit of a meme in some places, but at least it's more presentable. Getting ready for the day. All oh, right, you're saying like a Saturday is like gone for the rest of the month. This is my house, yeah. For now. I paid money for the interior decoration to look that way. Well, try to enjoy yourself. Wait, no, 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 not sell, we're not selling. Damn it, I need more money. Go for it. It's all about having that momentum to make decisions. You have to make yourself look human and not look like you're old out of bed. <laughs> Fair enough. All I've had to do is just be housework and just talk about the days of dial-up internet. That's all I've done today.
You don't remember dial-up internet? Okay. So I was talking about this as like, did you ever try to use the internet late at night at any point? And, uh, you know, try to avoid someone hearing that you were connecting to the internet because maybe you would get into trouble. And just how loud that thing was <laughs> when it would connect to the internet. Like the equivalent of someone screaming, Hey, the internet's going on! For 20 whole seconds. Or if you were to go on your phone and just play an alarm for 20 seconds every time you connect to the internet. But I just built a bridge, what do you mean? <laughs> also doesn't help when uh, you, you're trying to watch Smut and, you know, in order to watch Smut, you have to, uh, yeah, just have this anxiety that someone's going to hear the modem. Whenever I wanted to use the internet late at night, I used to have to smother it, smother the phone with a pillow. So then the sound would be masked. <laughs> I would put it... Yeah, I would put a couple of pillows and then put my body weight over it, so then it would, it would like, uh, mask out the sound. Good times. fishing. I have this whole, like, I've run away from home look to me. You know, living off the land. Tanjiro? <laughs> You're right. I do. I mean, the Tanjiro wore a top hat. <laughs> I haven't caught up, maybe he does. Oh man, I can just imagine some scene going down with that serious music and he's wearing a fucking top hat. How far am I? Ah. Uh... I mean, I gotta, I gotta catch up. Like, the last thing I saw was the movie. And then, just what aired after the movie, which was, you know, effectively the movie again. I just haven't made time for it. I've been making more time for One Piece than that. I need to keep up. I know, but it's just, there's not enough, there's not enough time in a day. I think if I if I wasn't streaming, I probably would be able to keep up.
<laughs> Keep streaming. Uh, so don't catch up is what you're saying. I will eventually. Because I think even with One Piece, I'm like approaching the point where I'm almost up to date, as insane as that might sound. But over the course of the last seven to eight months, maybe nine, I've been getting there. See what customizations I can do on the flag. Can binge Demon Slayer, it's a lot shorter than One Piece. Yeah, it is. And you know, I don't have to rewatch the whole thing, it's like whatever I'm up to date with. It's like what? I would imagine two arcs at worst. Like one and a half, yeah, okay. I guess by the time I get around to it, it'll be two. Okay, now I can go see this flag customization. Let's see what we can do with this flag. Yeah, let's see. Use a custom design, yes. There we go. Sweet. Yes. So how about those construction workers in Ocarina of Time? I don't remember. <laughs> That's two years ago. What did I? What did I do? What didn't I do? Or what did I think about doing but didn't do? Well, what did I think about doing but did and shouldn't have done? Like, what, what, what was it? Let's just, it was that long ago. Maybe it's just a memory that I've blocked out. <laughs> I 
Thanks. Clapping. Nice. I was going to have a file ready for anyone who asked about it a year or two years later. Well, clearly I didn't do that. I don't even know what, what, what it's referring to. The funny thing is, like, it's roughly been two years since that happened. Yeah, I I'm completely clueless here. I have no idea what that could be referring to. You're at Christmas and I just got my new microphone. Okay, then, yeah. That was a significant upgrade. Still wouldn't sound like it does now because since then I've given the room the whole sound treatment thingy. It's just, just, I just asked my landlord to soundproof back then. <laughs> Spoiler alert, it took like, uh, fucking six months of asking to get a response. I think even longer. Just... They're, they're the worst here. It's basically, when they want something, it has to be right away. When you want something, they take ages to do it. And for some things, you have to get written permission. Well, because I wanted, for context, I wanted to put up acoustic foam in in this room that I'm in to, like, dampen the echo. Because it's a small room, so the sound bounces a lot. Or did. And because they just have a rule about hanging stuff on walls, or at least they did back then, it's like you have to get permission to do it. It sounds a lot better now. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. I'm always trying to make things better, one way or another, you know? And this year's upgrade is like, whenever I play PS5 now, you're gonna get that crispy, nice, high quality. I'm sure next year's upgrade will now, will be extending that to PC games as well by getting a new computer that's capable of doing that. But... Yeah, I mean, it's just how I how I do things. Just try to make it as best as I can. That's pretty much what I use like subs and bits and all that stuff for. So I don't use it to live. I, I have a full-time job, and my full-time job, thankfully, allows me to live okay. So I just put it back into the stream. Big difference in two years. You should have seen five years ago just how different it was. I mean, not just in sound quality, but also just, you know, I guess tone. 
the the older streams like i'm just not you can hear that i'm not 100 percent comfortable in my own voice whether that be from like a fact that uh i was just starting out and also just there were times where there were no viewers it's just a thing that every single person when they start streaming that's uh that's what happens thought I sounded fine five years ago. I guess I'm thinking of it incorrectly. I guess it's closer to seven now. It's like six going seven. Five years ago, now, I, what year would that be? That'd be 2018. So I started in 2017, so I'm talking about 2017. When I still used to live out in the middle of nowhere, before I moved to the city. That's six years. What was the next Zelda game I played after Ocarina of Time? I played them all in order of release date, so the next one would have been Majora's Mask. I mean, maybe it was something that five years ago I sounded better than what I thought I did, but... Maybe it was just feeling, you know? Because I feel like I only really landed on... I don't know if you would call it tone, but just who I guess I am in terms of streaming. Maybe just before the pandemic hit. That's roughly when I would consider, oh yeah, I, I think I, I know what I am. Don't remember what I was playing, what, five years ago? Pfft, I mean, I'd, I'd be guessing myself as well. What did I start off playing? So the first game I played was The Binding of Isaac because I had experience in that game and I knew what I was talking about. So my mentality was, okay, if I'm good at the game, then at least that's something. And then... Uh, I'm trying to remember, like... I played a couple of retro games here and there. But then, most of it was just, like, stuff that, uh, when I got the Switch. That's what I played, mainly Switch games. And every now and then would dabble in, like, Stardew Valley or Diablo. I think the beauty of it here is, like, everyone kind of has a different game or reason or whatever. Like, not everyone started watching for the same reason. I'm okay with, like, what I was roughly playing. Except between the years 2020 and 2022, where it just all melds into one year. That's where I... I have no idea. Maybe 2017, and I mean... 
2017 was the year the Switch came out, so I would have so that year I would have played Breath of the Wild for sure. I would have played. At the end of 2017, that's when I would have been in the new house in the city where the internet was bad, and then I started playing the tail end of Mario Odyssey. Um, but that would have been 2017. And there was Stardew, Terraria was there as well. I played Terraria in that year. Uh, what else? trying to remember but definitely like 2017 would have been a big year for switch games for me and a hiatus a forced hiatus for three months because of uh bad internet circumstances <laughs> Glad the Zelda redeem was done don't remember if it was Twilight Princess or Skyward Sword I believe it was uh Skyward Sword I can remember that much. Some people just generally don't remember. You can't remember when you started watching. Hmm. It wasn't for like that night that I did the uh... The retro games. The things that were on my old computer, like the... There are, there are certain people that I, I genuinely don't remember, and they don't either. I, tr I, I try my best to make people laugh, but sometimes it's just, yeah. It depends on the mood I'm in. Like, I, me as a person, I either have times where, like, you know, I'll be like that. I'll be energetic. I'll be very social. And then there are times where it's, like, the opposite of that. And <laughs> I want to be more chill and I might be a bit, like, more antisocial. I definitely, I, I think I would consider myself, like, selective extrovert, if that makes sense. Majority of the time's a bit more introverted, more than you would think. But I, I can be extroverted, if, if I'm feeling it. But the majority of the time, it is more introverted. It was the McDonald's CD. Okay, yeah. That was- that was fun. That was just something that on a whim I, I remembered. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely have a bunch of people that they just tune in because some- somehow... I don't know, my- my voice apparently lets their brain shut down and let them sleep. So... Something that initially used to weird me out, to be honest. But I wasn't really used to Twitch or how it worked. Until... Maybe a year later. I was like, okay, yeah, people use it as a way to... Unwind, and I, I get that. But initially it was like, wait, people- are people finding me boring? What? <laughs> it's not that at all. McDonald's- McDonald's had a game. So, this is the story of this game, and if you- if you want a morbid curiosity as to what we're talking about, it's on YouTube. Um... It's like childhood PC games, I believe is what I called it. So, in Australia, for Happy Meal Toys, uh, one time they gave out a CD that you could play on your computer, and it was done by McDonald's Australia. So it wasn't anywhere else in the world that this was made available. It was, um, Australian Ronald McDonald, so he has an Aussie accent. 
And it's just like a product of the late 90s. It's just, you know, game computer games. There were one or two things. There were either very simple platformers or interactive experiences, or they were point and click. So this was a point and click game where you would click something, it would make a funny sound effect. That sort of thing, right? So that's what it was. And I think what makes it funny is just because, well, it's Australian. <laughs> that's that's it. It's just like it's it's a jarring experience because you're like, wait, what? What what is this voice? Why is Ronald McDonald asking me to go into his treehouse? Hey gang, come play in my treehouse. Do it. Anyway. It's okay. Here's the thing. I have, and I've said this a few times. As a kid, people did not like my voice. Other children. And I guess maybe it came down to the fact because I didn't... I think I spoke English well, it just wasn't correct. And I, me and my brother had to take classes to kind of correct it. But... It was just for the longest time, people didn't like my voice as a kid. But then at some point, I guess when I became an adult, I just heard the opposite, and I guess I just never really believed it. Kids, I mean. Yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Text they yeah, hang on. Oh, I can't start a new one yet. Damn it. I wanted to start a new one, but I guess I have to wait until tomorrow. That's fine. So, I mean, over, over the years, I've gotten better at accepting that. <laughs> it's still like when someone says, Oh, you have such a nice voice, you have such a nice accent. I'm just like, ah, oh, yeah, uh, thank you. <laughs> it's just... A point of awkwardness for me. I would consider reading books if it paid well, but I, I don't think it does. And given the state of things going with AI, it'd be a case of, like, I'd probably read a book once and then they would use an AI to generate my voice. Most likely. I did look into whether or not you can read books on stream once, and it's more or less... I'm not a lawyer, but the... I guess the thing is, is like, you can't read it on a live stream because it's considered a public performance or some shit like that. And so, you know, copyright owners would come after you, more or less. Or they could. The only exception is public domain books. So it'd have to be things... Really? Yeah. Well, think about it. If I, if I buy a book, right... And I read that book to everyone. Everyone has experienced that book for free. They're not paying for the audiobook version. And so it's money that the pers the author of the book would be missing out on because me, I'm reading it to X amount of people. And because this is an entertainment platform, it counts as a performance. It's different if, like, you know, we were in a room at someone's house and there were ten people there. That's private. Right? So it's fine in that regard, but because this is Twitch and... Uh, I... I'm not using it as a primary means of income, just to be clear, but because, you know, I do get money through bits and that, it's it's a form of income, so it's like... I can't, I can't do that. But, you could say the same about video games, and I guess... It's just one of those things that they could, they could come after someone reading a book on stream. Not sure if anyone ever has, but they could. 
And it's the same with playing video games. They could, but the industry chooses not to because they realize, you know, watching people play video games is a good form of marketing. It does more good than harm. I'm not sure that's the case for books. I've had a lot of times where I'm playing a game and then people go buy it. <laughs> so, it works. And that's not what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I, I think I'm good. Like... For me to do something like that, that's a completely different reason and foundation as to what I've done here, so it's not something I would do anyway. Some Twitch channel was playing MacGyver episodes non-stop, then a week later the channel disappeared. Well, that's just playing with fire. It's just one of those things that they could, and eventually they probably will. Tell you what, if I ever do streaming as a full-time thing, that'll be like a, a VIP club thing. I'll be like, alright, Patreon. If you want me to read a book, I'll read a book. <laughs> I'll make an earning of people listening, me, listening to me read. But, you know, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Agatha Christie first, please. I don't know who that is. But much like any sort of request here, it will go through a committee of consensus whereby if it's only one person asking for it, I'll keep it in the back of my mind, but it won't happen most likely. But if it's multiple people that are talking about it and wanting to see it, then sure. I can't believe I fished up garbage multiple times. Anyway, we're, we're just dealing in funny hypotheticals here. <laughs> I've said this before, but I just, I don't see myself getting to a point where I would consider doing this on a full-time basis. It's just what's involved to do that is, is a big ask. How much do audiobook narrators get paid? I have no idea. How? Oh. Change the price. No one's gonna buy it for that much. I don't know. I would imagine people don't get paid that much for it. I mean, if the strike- if the strike in Hollywood is anything to go by, like, you hear the stories of residuals and how much actors get, it's... not that much, in some cases. 
it's like really only a small percentage of the total actors are making a lot of money and the rest are kind of living off crumbs. If I was to do that, like, I would do it in, in the case of a live stream sort of thing. Pub it would have to be public domain, because... Also, I'm not that great at reading. <laughs> it's just putting that out there. Like, I know some of you think I would do well at it, but I'd, I'm not that great at reading sometimes. I'm not. Like, you're imagining a scenario where I read perfectly well. And there's no stuttering, stammering, or like tripping over my words, or maybe... There's a word that I just can't pronunciate properly, because English was my second language <laughs> at some point. It might not sound it, but it does happen from time to time. You listen to Dracula, I wonder if that's public domain. Should be, yeah. What was my first language? I learned Sp I learned and spoke Spanish for the until I got to like uh kindergarten. Like, my family only spoke to me in Spanish up until... I forgot what age. But I mean, even at home now, it's like, you know, I talk to my parents in Spanish. And there are some relatives I have that don't speak English that well, so... Wish you knew another language. It's never too late. Especially if you have a heritage of some sort, learning the language of your heritage. It's a good way to connect with it. As long as you don't have to roll your ass. <laughs> I don't know. Not every language does it. And the thing is, you could, you could get to a point where you just sound like someone with an English accent trying to speak the language, and that's perfectly fine. Like... Two of my brothers, they know, they know a bit of Spanish, they're not like fluent in it. They, it's weird, they can, they can understand it, but they can't speak it properly themselves. And the way they speak it sounds like someone, someone, yeah, I guess an English speaker trying to s say Spanish words, that's how they sound like. But there's nothing wrong with that. Kindergarten is hard without English at home. Yep, it is. 
I mean... My memories of it are very... Very brief, but like... My mom and dad did make a good effort to speak English, and they did well. But at home, it was, it was always Spanish. And it's something that, when I got to primary school slash elementary school... Uh, yeah, like I, like I said, it, they had to... They had to take extra attention to correct how I was speaking. It wasn't... It was like a... I don't know if it was a program. Like, I don't remember much of it, but there were a bunch of kids in, in that room. Because where I grew up, it was, um... It was a very multicultural place. Like ESL, not quite. Because ESL was like, uh... Instead of taking regular English class, you would take an easier form of it. This was more of a, like... This kid is fine in terms of the writing and the reading. It's just the speaking that, I guess... They wanted to correct, for lack of a better term. Like, I wasn't doing bad in writing or reading at all. That wasn't it. It was just the pace that I was speaking at and how I pronounce things generally. So that's what it was. looking at the other screen, I thought I walked in the door. I have not paid any of my loan off. How do you get a loan? You always have one. Until you pay the final one off. Just... When you upgrade your house, that's... Dude's like, alright, you can pay off the loan now. Repay loan. 198,000, alright. Wait. That's a lot. Every time you get a house upgrade, it becomes a loan. That's pretty much it. You still didn't find a spot for your tent? <laughs> okay. Should be the very first thing. You're at 40,000 bells, you've already basically paid the 10 off. Is that horse in timeout still? No, I let him go at the end of the stream. You need a good spot, where is my house? The map is different for everyone. Just it, it doesn't matter t it doesn't matter too much in New Horizons because eventually eventually you can sculpt the land and build rivers and you can move your house later as well if you don't like it so don't stress too much 
Me personally, I would put it somewhere near the fruit trees where you are. Um, yeah, maybe close to or close to a river so you can do fishing. Just close to something that's going to act as a task. That would be where I would put it. But in New Horizons, mine was, and I guess in this game, it's here. It's like in the corner. So there's like a river behind me. This honestly looks very similar to where I had it in New Horizons. <laughs> now that I look at this. But yeah, don't stress too much about it. You can move it later. Oh wow, I've been playing this for almost three hours. Jeez. Well then. Tea time, potentially. It's closer to 11, so maybe, maybe not. I might get water or something. Tea and chips. If I was watching a movie or something, I'd, I'd get chips. It's tea time, a cup of tea or tea and a snack. It's just the drink, that's it. I usually have a herbal tea, just as a... Uh, I don't know, something relaxing about it. The Homeland price chips. Well, they're on special. <laughs> I mean, I thought we had it bad, but... Apparently the price of our chips are not too bad compared to other places. Yeah, and I started using an infuser. It's like having loose leaf tea instead of bagged tea and... Skeptical about the difference it would make, but it does make a difference. Yeah, I suppose that's one way to stay off the potato chips is just they're too expensive that you're like, nah, I'm not buying them.
you stay at them regularly, but not now. Maybe have a bag with chips once every few weeks. I'm very weird about it. Sometimes it'll be once, maybe every couple of weeks, but then I've had times where I've gone years without eating it. I think the thing that I've definitely been sold on more is, like, just having crackers and cheese. Like a good cheese. You like to put potato chips on your burger for the, for the crunch? It's... I mean, it'd be the same as, like, having crispy onion rings. I can understand that. Changed my mind. <laughs> Going for the big fish. Nice. I've already donated that to the museum, so that's money. You suck at fishing. You get used to it. The advice I would give would be not to listen to the sound and just look for the, the splash. Or vice versa. It depends what's tripping you up. Like, if you close your eyes and just listen to the sound and that works for you, that's a good way to do it. Or if the sound is the thing that's bothering you, then you just look for the... makes like a splash when you should push the button. Like, just mute your game, put the splash. So one or the other will work. In the case of this, I had to plug in my headset into the 3DS directly because otherwise there's too much audio latency and I can't catch the fish reliably because of the sound. Because by the time the audio goes to my computer and then goes through the wireless headsets, it's not extremely noticeable, but it's enough to miss a fish. Do I have anything? No. Okay, I'm on top of the fish situation. Yeah, it's just practice. But there is a, uh, a Nook Mile achievement to catch a hundred fish without messing up once. That one's a doozy. There's a bit of stream lore with that achievement. One of my costumes in my old New Horizons file is like... I got so annoyed that I missed the fish that I can't remember what number, it would have been like 73. So I drew myself an outfit that I thought was ugly with the number 73 on it, just using colors that I didn't think matched, and then somehow the outfit came together. Like, I subconsciously did graphic design with it. So I was wearing that outfit until I got a hundred fish in a row.
<laughs> Do I still have the Animal Crossing shirt? Yeah, it's on my Switch. Hold on. I can show it if you want. I gotta... Where's my old Switch? The decommissioned Switch. I gotta put it in the dock. Oh, the one my brother got me, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the one I'm talking about. That's the, uh... That would have been Christmas set, yeah. Yeah, it was... It just says do-it-yourself on it, and it's got like a little net thing. But I also got a uh, Nook Inc. t-shirt, because I'm a nerd, and also a hoodie. So, yeah. I do have an Animal Crossing hoodie. Do I have to see the other shirt still? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the, the one that I drew? I put the switch in, in the dock, it just needs to charge. I can- I can show it. Briefly. Nice. It'll take, like, ten minutes or so to get to a point where you can start up. But yeah, I got a new Switch because uh, my Switch was a day one Switch, so the battery just wasn't lasting. It, it's just, it's seen better days. So, I got an OLED one. Because there's certainly no signs of, like, uh, a hardware revision that's sizable enough, so. Just because I had gift vouchers, and I didn't, uh, again, I didn't know what to do with them. a new fish. So like, alright, we'll just get another switch, because the one I have, the battery just does not last. And I do play it on the couch sometimes, so. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm like... You know, those people that hang a flag behind their bed, ultimate act of patriotism. Can't forget about the corn either. That's just not a thing here, like... Not many houses, uh, show the Australian flag, really. Or public places, for that matter. Like, I think Australians are, are proud of Australia, but not to the point where we show our flag everywhere. Multiple times. And then you've got, like, the, I guess, the pseudo-flag. Which is green and gold. Like, 
when it comes to world events, the green and gold is more more representative of Australia than the flag itself. One thing I am missing about New Horizons is just the decoration outside. Because there's, there's some things that I've gotten that I would have loved to have placed outside, but that's not a thing, so... Is there a green and gold frag? No, green and gold is the colour in the Olympics. Um, unofficially, it's like... A boxing kangaroo on the, the green and gold. It's like been used in multiple things. But, uh, yeah, it's like just. The green and gold color. Yeah, it's like in the National Museum of Canberra. When you when you see it, you'll you'll know because that's how that's where the Olympic colors came from, more or less. Um, it was like done in the eighties. See, this is just useless. This is useless trivia that I've just ingrained into my brain. Like, oh, what a useful piece of information that your brain retained. Um, hold on. This is what it looks like. And then from this, the whole, like, green and gold thing for our Olympic uniforms came. No, no, I got it on screen. It's all good. <laughs> for the sake of conversation and clarity... Anyway, it does look familiar. You would have seen it at some point. Different iterations of it, but that's the original. That'd be awesome if that was a the flag. <laughs> Cause then it would just make the fact that we eat kangaroos just that much more hilarious. It's like it would be our national flag, it would be on our coat of arms, it would be on our Olympic uniforms, and we eat the things. It's it'd be perfect. That's a great flag idea. Just honestly watch it happen. 
Uh, I'm gonna call it now, like, if Australia does become a republic, which it probably will, the flag is gonna be some version of the kangaroo thing. Or the green and gold, like, it's gonna involve green and gold. Because that's the sort of thing we would only do, you know? It's like when our Prime Minister drowned in whatever year it was, and then... In honor of his death, they created a swimming academy. You'll still have a lame Southern Cross. I doubt it. That would have too much association with the old flag. Was that Harold Holt? It was, yes. Learn about him in school. Guy went swimming, he went missing, presumed dead. And at this point, yes, is dead. <laughs> and uh, in his honor, they started a swimming academy in his name. That's that's Australia. He was just, he was just a bad swimmer, so in order to prevent this tragedy ever happening again, it's like, shit, we better teach people to swim. <laughs> but you know what? Swimming is part of the national curriculum, like, kids have to take swimming classes. It honestly wouldn't surprise me if that's, like, that event may be the reason why that's, that's the case. I, I would not be surprised. Because, you, you know, you, you go swimming, you learn about riptides and all that stuff and what to do and what not to do. It's raining, so there's gonna be different fish. Did he get confident and decide he would swim and drown? I don't know. I have no idea what the story was. Did I go swimming training? I mean, it was part of school, like in primary school, elementary school. I'm saying that for the Americans. Yes, that's, we did it. And also in high school as well. It was part of P. I mean, it, it, if we go by Gami's sentence, like, if he was confident, it would have involved a conversation like, Oi, Harold. The flags are over here. You should you should swim over here, Harold. Nah, she'll be right. And then the dude just vanishes. Famous last words.
Yeah, geez, if this happened in modern days, it would have been an episode on a TV show. I like this music, listen to this music. It's different when it's raining. I haven't heard this before, because I just haven't been around while it's raining. That is very... I kind of wish this would just play in town. Not just here, not gonna lie. Like, this music is good, but I, I like the jingle that plays when you're in town. I want to see what fish there are. You also don't picture him or any Aussie politician as athletic. Dude, I mean, say what you will about Tony Abbott, but that guy was like a volunteer firefighter and... I mean, dude went swimming and did that sort of shit. Tones was pretty fit. Have we seen, but have we seen John Howard bowling in cricket? <laughs> oh man. That, that clip just... Did the rounds for so many years. I don't know, see, I didn't, I didn't care about sports, so I was like, haha, that's funny. Yeah, I mean, I try not to talk about that stuff too much. <laughs> One, because it confuses people. It's like, who the fuck are they talking about? It's like, in general, the audience here is, like, evenly split between Americans and Europeans. And then... It's like... The statistical anomaly, unfortunately, is the Australians. I, I don't know why. So one thing I've never been able to figure out is just... Do Australians not watch Twitch? I don't, I don't know. Maybe... It's just like how I was as a kid, just didn't 
really have many Australian friends. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there's just five of you. I think there's... Honestly, at any given point, this is probably the most Australians I've had in chat in the last three years. At any given point, there's anywhere between zero to one. Two is like record numbers. How many Australians are there? I can count them in just under two hands. Australians that are here on a regular basis on one hand. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> I am not popular in my own country. I should just move to America and, and or Europe. Probably Europe. Yeah, here's the other thing as well. Not only this, but, like, the majority of Australians are from New South Wales, and it's just like, how does that even happen? I'm not even popular in my home city. <laughs> oh, dear. Listen, no, 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 no reflection on the people at all. But I've, I've been to every, almost every single capital city except Adelaide, right? And out of all the capital cities, I hated Sydney. Just straight up don't like Sydney. I've been- I've been there four times. More- more times than the other capital cities. Why? There's a- there's a couple of reasons. One of them being, like, if you met if you're in the city in Sydney and you make a wrong fucking turn, to get- to get back on course, it is a nightmare. In Melbourne, it's like, oh, I missed a turn. Well, just take the next one. You're fine. Just head in the general direction of where you want to go. You're going to get there. That's what Melbourne's like and most of the other Australian capital cities. Sydney, for some damn reason, is just this confusing mess. Completely illogical. Just getting around in Sydney sucks. That's one. And the other, it's just... Maybe I've just run into the wrong people, but it, it's like... The two times I, I asked a question in Sydney, I got the most horrific response ever. Like, just... Compared to Melbourne, you can more or less walk up to anyone, ask them a question, and they'll try to help you out. Like... Sydney, I did not get any of that. When I was in every other city, when I asked a question, everyone was nice about it. In Sydney, that was not the case. That's a personal experience one, but it's it's part of my reasoning. I'm not saying there aren't nice people in Sydney. There are. But just for that to happen twice on two separate visits, just, I don't know, man. 
It didn't happen in any, in any of the other capital cities. Where was I to get such a bad vibe? Just the city! <laughs> like, that was it. I wasn't anywhere in the middle of nowhere. I was just the, the, the city. Is, I guess, wrong, wrong place at the wrong time. Twice. I don't know. But people seem to be more in a rush. That's, that's the, that's the impression that I got left with, is like, oh, everyone's kind of in a rush, and, yeah. That's the impression I got. It can't be helped. And again, I'm just talking about, like, the city as a structure and, you know, the hive mind, so to speak. I'd be concerned if I had piranhas in my town's river. Yeah, the harbour bridge is the worst for that reason. It splits into five different lanes. Oh, and, okay, the other reason... The other reason, which was an, a factor when I was in my 20s... ...was those, those lockout laws you had. Were just places were shutting early. Or not letting people in. Meanwhile, Melbourne um, stuff open 24 hours. Public transport, public transport free after midnight, so people can get home safely. Like, just that was another reason. If I wanted to hang out with someone, it was kind of tedious. So, there we go. I just, I find it funny that, like... The majority of Australians are from the city that I, I just don't want to visit where possible. <laughs> oh, man. I don't- I think I've had one person from Melbourne watch me. Ex excluding people that I know personally. I should say that. like New York, always in a rush. No, but see, I, it's not, I think it's fine to be in a rush. I think the problem is it's the combination of all those things. It's in a rush, the city is a nightmare to get around, and if I wanted to hang out with someone, there would be almost like a curfew. Whereas in Melbourne, it's like, if I wanted to go have coffee somewhere with someone at midnight, we can do that here. Or go hit some place and go eat at 3 in the morning. Like, we can do that here. Or if we're gonna go out somewhere, you can leave at midnight and still get in. So, when it's like that, then it's fine. It's like, it's just, okay, so people are a little bit in a rush here. That's fine. But it's when it's a combination of multiple things. And that wasn't a fluke. It was like, two of the trips, just the times that I, I asked for directions or help. It was not just one person. Like, it took about three attempts the first time to get help. And the second time, it was like, the first person I asked was a dick. So, yeah. That's, that's it. 
I don't, I don't mean to be negative about things. I try not to be. I can be, um, what's the word? Cynical. In Bondi, kitchens close at 9 on a Saturday. Jeez. It's 11, if, if, if we were, if we were hanging out in Melbourne right now, it's 11 p.m. And we're hungry, we want to go get someone, somewhere, like. Take your pick. Go to Chinatown, go eat. Go to the Italian district, go eat. Go to the place where there's like Middle Eastern food, go eat. There are grills open, there's like. So much stuff still open right now. And we'll be open for the next two, three hours. Anyway. On top of it, on top of it all, there's already like a rivalry between Melbourne and Sydney. So, you know, I'm not trying to be stereotypical here and be, oh, the Melbourneian complaining about Sydney, but... I... I gave an unbiased look at it. You know, tribal... I hate any form of tribalism. Or, like, just being loyal without any reason, right? I hate that stuff. So this was based on my personal experiences going to the many Australian capital cities. And out of all the cities I went to, just... I had negative experiences in Sydney. Multiple times. Anyway. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, people from New South Wales, if that was, like, a little bit of a rant. But the question got asked. And I, I, want, I want you to know that, like, my reasoning... It's nothing personal. It's just based off what I experienced. And what I, what I have here. Sydney is rubbish, nothing fun, nice beaches, okay, international airport. I mean, you guys have a better zoo as well. But, you know, if you want to live somewhere in Australia, yeah, don't live in Sydney. And this is like, just taking the reasons I just said, put those aside. It's just, Sydney is expensive to make a life in. You went to Canberra, found it boring, went to Melbourne once and enjoyed it. Canberra's existence is because Sydney and Melbourne were fighting about who should be the capital. So they went, okay, let's just put this place in, the, in between both of them and call it the Australian Capital Territory. And Canberra will be the city that will become the, the capital of Australia. Because you two can't make up your minds. Stop fighting, we're making a new town halfway between both of you. The one thing I will say Sydney has on Melbourne you guys have trains to the airport. We don't have that. In our infinite wisdom. The zoo is boring. Isn't it the Australia zoo? Isn't it Steve Irwin's zoo? Or am I wrong? 
I thought it was supposed to be good. Or am I wrong in the location of that zoo? Why did that fish go away? That happens a few times in this. No kangaroos. Yeah, there's kangaroos. <laughs> of course there are. It's like a bit of uh, an embellishment, what Mrs. Ham is saying. But you know, for an Australian, it's like, oh yeah, it's a kangaroo. You know? It's not... It's not exotic. It's just like, oh yeah, it's a kangaroo. To someone outside of Australia, it's like, oh my god, look, they have kangaroos, look at them. What animal would be exotic? Uh, like a moose. Because we don't have anything like that here. Or a deer. Anything with antlers. Big ones. Uh, a bear. Big bear. Yeah. Those would be the animals that are exotic. Tiger? Let's say a tiger as well, or a lion. Anything that's like African, right? It's... But I think that's pretty common for most. Eagle? I mean, we have hawks that are this. I know they're not the same, but it's still along the lines of that, so I wouldn't consider those on the same level as some of the other stuff, but yeah. It's different. Bears you stay away from. <laughs> Bear wins. No. I, I I understand that. I'm not saying that I want to get like in, um, you know. I don't want to be too close to a bear. I want to have like a, a fucking cage and some distance between me and the bear. Wait. No, no, I guess, yeah, I, hang on. No, yeah, I did, I did go donate. Alright. I guess I had the eel already. You have a picture of you as a three-year-old next to a bald eagle in Singapore and you're the same size. Shit. I didn't realize they were that big. Okay, well, either way. That's why we don't mention kangaroos when we talk about a zoo. It's not that we don't have them. <laughs> it's just like, oh, it's a kangaroo. In some places of Australia, like, it's just like, oh, those fucking things when, you, when you're driving. Where I used to live, it was within 20 minutes. Within 20 minutes of, like, where kangaroos were pretty out there in the wild. And there'd be signs that would warn you. Oh yeah, wallaby. No, I like wallabies. They're tiny kangaroos. <laughs> 
There's a, there's a place where you can go feed them here. It's great. All right, I keep coming to the counter, but it's just the machine. Yeah, exactly, Rocco. That's, that's a nice dent. I haven't begun to even plant flowers in this. It's once I can start clearing land. That's when I'll, I'll do things properly. Yeah, unlike us, um, Americans don't eat, consume their, what is considered their national animal. <laughs> oh dear. And it's not considered a pest, it's protected. I forgot what, what number kangaroos outnumber humans by in Australia. That's how much of them there are. room for it. Didn't I just sell? Oh. Me the idiot did not sell. I was paying. I was probably reading chat too much. I just went head first into that tree. <laughs> I probably cancelled the sell. I was gonna play Final Fantasy, but the issue with that is I have to restart the stream so then it's like at that good quality. to the money for now. I haven't been to the zoo in a very long time. Not even when people are visiting. is better than Central Park Zoo. I will keep that in mind. Is 
Is it one of those cases like the Central Park one is w more well known? Just its name. Because I can understand that. It's the same here. It's like Sydney is the more internationally known city, but if you were visiting, I would say go do what you need to do in Sydney and then go go to Melbourne or Brisbane. Brisbane because it has the barrier reef and all that and you know that's who knows how long that's going to be around for but then here because just aforementioned reasons it's not just because I live here it's very small okay gotcha Definitely made a bigger dent by not going into the activities and just focusing my efforts on fishing and bug catching. Why is there a fish that just swims up to you and then swims away? Got you! Just a sea bass. Oh, I wonder if there's pier fishing in this. Because that was the thing in New Horizons. It has different fish on the pier. To be fair, that one is probably already there. Just in case I missed anything. I'll stick around here for a minute to see if there's any unique fish. And at worst, if I get lazy, <laughs> this could be a thumbnail. Hmm. 
guess not, because there's no bait in this game. If there were bait, I'd believe that there's fish there. Get charge of money for that one. Remember, kids, if you do your part, your wallet will be emptier. <laughs> what is going on? I'm I'll swap it out for this boot that I just got. I'll clean that up later. This, this outfit I have would be just stained in mud at this point. I've fallen over so many times. This is probably not going to be a lot of money. Oh, that's not too bad. Excuse me. They're very cute, but... But... If that happened to me in a shop, I would hate it. Just... The store clerk following you around. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't do that. You hate that? Yeah, same. Yeah, I mean... I think, I think some of it, it comes from sales incentives. It's like, that typically happens when you have a store that works off commission. I just realized I don't have to come to a bridge. And then when you actually need help, there's no one around. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Murphy's Law, isn't it? Is it Murphy's Law? What's Murphy's Law? Murphy's Law's like, the last thing to happen doesn't happen, right? Or happens. Yeah, oh, that's right. To the effect that anything that can go wrong will go wrong. Yeah. There we go. So it's like when, it's like, usually there's help, and then the one time you need help, there's no help. So yes, so, okay. I got the expression correct. Repay loan. I keep forgetting I should have money in in my account because then it gains interest. 
but, uh... Okay, you know what? That's what you should be doing, is putting your money in at the end of each day, so then it, it accrues interest. Just, and only take out money when you need it, like, yeah, that's what you should be doing. Okay. That was a nice and long session of Animal Crossing, New Leap. <laughs> it's time for an intermission chat. I need to go stretch, get a beverage of sorts. Before I continue on to the next thing, it's Saturday, so let's, like, let's just do more stuff. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end. Hope you have been enjoying the, uh, the playthrough of New Leaf. I've been really enjoying this one, and I'm happy to hear that people want to see me do more of this, and also New Horizons, so thank you. And, uh, yeah, consider the button clicking if you want to support the channel over here. Or maybe two other videos have popped up and you want to see me play something else. But till next time, bye YouTube. See ya.